Hi guys, my name is Melody and thanks for stopping by. And today I'm going to tell you about a young adult novel uh, that I have read this week, um, which I thought was an absolutely brilliant novel. It's called Clap When You Land. It's by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not very good with Spanish. I have tried before and I am awful. I can read a bit of Spanish and understand a bit, but saying it is another story and it's embarrassing and I don't want to embarrass people if I talk um, out of turn um, trying to speak Spanish. So the cover looks like this. Um, it's a beautiful cover. And I'll just read you the synopsis and I'll let you know how I viewed this book and how I liked it, if I did like it. Um, obviously, you might have seen the the um, post on there. But anyway, so Camino Rios lives for the summers when her father visits her in the Dominican Republic. But this time on the day when his plane is supposed to land, Camino arrives at the airport to see crowds of crying people. In New York City, Yahara Rios is called to the principal's office where her mother is waiting to tell her that her father, her hero, has died in a plane crash. Separated by distance and pappy secrets, the two girls are forced to face a new reality in which their father is dead and their lives are forever altered. And then when it seems like they've lost everything of their father, they learn of each other. Pappy's death uncovers painful truths that are kept hidden and the love he divided across an ocean. And now Yahara and Kamino have, are both left to grapple with what is what this new sister means to them and what it will now take to keep their dreams alive. In a dual narrative novel in verse that brims with both grief and love, award-winning and best-selling author Elizabeth Acevedo writes about the devastation of loss, uh, the difficulty of forgiveness, and the bittersweet bonds that shape our lives. Um, and this uh, was published this year, 2020. Um, the title is quite interesting, Clap When You Land. It's normally um, on all the flights that I have been on. Um, when you land, um, people clap and applaud the pilot for the landing. Um, and I think that's because most of the flights I have been on on long haul flights. I think that's something that you're basically saying, thank goodness you have landed safely sort of thing. So that's where clap where you land and when you land comes from, but you won't like get to that bit till the end. But this is a good book. So it starts out with these two sisters and it's the dual narrative. And what's so great about it is that they live these two separate lives and their father is a part of both their lives very differently. So um, the one in New York, Yahara, um, she uh, used to play chess, um, which was a passion of her father's and she learned it from her father. And that is very important to the story is the chess and the moving of the pieces and the strategy and things like that. Um, whereas her sister Camino, uh, when he visited her during the summers, he would go swimming with her out in the ocean. And it was his passion to go into the ocean in the Dominican Republic. We also have these two characters living completely separate lives as well. So Yahara um, is in New York. Um, her mother is works at, um, I think it's a salon or like some sort of spa sort of situation. Um, and she's always very presentable and everything like that until um, this terrible incident happens. Um, and uh, Yahara has a girlfriend as well. Her name is Andrea, or she calls her Dre. Um, and she lives this world in this uh, high school where she just is, she's just really trying to get by. She does basically the, she, what she says is the minimum level to get through. Um, the book starts when they are 16 years old, going on 17 years old. But Camino um, has the harder life because she's in Dominican public. She lives in this um, two room, I believe, um, house in a, in a barrio. And um, her auntie, who she lives with because her mother has passed, uh, 10 years previously, is a um, healer and is into mystic healing um, and traditional um, sort of things. Um, and she helps. And what she really wants to do is become a doctor. But because her father lives in New York, what he does is he sends money down to keep her safe from one of the men there. 
um, and to uh, pay for her schooling so that she can go to a private school um, and and uh, get her education so that she can go to New York and go to the Columbia University so that she can be a doctor. Um, for the most part, the beginning of the book is just about how they're dealing with the tragedy and the loss of the father and what that actually means to him in terms of like um, support and things like that. Um, it does go into uh, different aspects of their lives. Um, it's a really good novel. Um, they don't know about each other at the beginning, um, but then their their paths cross and it is a beautiful story. Um, it does have, I would say for a warning, because this is a young adult novel, there is some, um, what, there is some language in it, but there, it's not a lot of um, uh, foul language, but there is also um, sexual, um, um, let's say distress, I guess you would say, but um, uh, there should, there would be a content warning for um, that sort of thing if you are a young adult and you don't want to read about um, assault and things like that because there is uh, some uh, mentions of assault. However, it is woven into the book and it is part of the story and it helps uh, move the narrative along and that's, and you figure out more about how, why the people act like they do. Um, I was I gave this book a five stars. Um, at the end, I I actually cried at the end of this book. I thought it was absolutely I couldn't put it down, so that's why I give it five stars. If I can't put a book down and I want to go back to it and read it, um, extremely hard, then I will give it five stars. If it's a book that I put down and I'll come back to. I will probably give it less. Um, academic books are a bit different because those are a bit harder, but this book is definitely a five stars. Um, and I would say it's a young adult novel and it's an absolutely brilliant tale of two sisters um, learning about each other and discovering themselves uh, during a hard time um, from the loss of their dad. It is actually based on a, a plane crash that did happen on November 12th, I believe, 2001, um, is where the author got the idea because a lot of people that were in that plane, well, all the people died, but a lot of them were going back to the Dominican Republic to see their loved ones. And the, uh, author is of a Dominican, uh, descent as well. And I believe that, uh, that, um, she used a lot of sorry influences from her youth and um, wove those into there but it's beautiful it's written very well you it, it's some up parts of it are written sort of like poetry and they just move across the page um but yeah i would actually give this a five out of five um if you are a young person please do read it if you're a young woman especially um it is a heart-wrenching story and it's absolutely brilliant um, that would be Clap When You Land, and it's by Elizabeth Acevedo. Thanks for watching so much, guys. If you like these little reviews and everything else, um, please do subscribe, hit the like button, and share this with your friends. And if you're a parent, uh, I would highly recommend you get buying your child this book um, and encourage them to read more because reading opens the mind and it broadens the senses. Um, Stay safe, stay positive, stay kind. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.